Hey, Bill. Hi, dude. Nice Pfizer. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I needed an extra tube because my nose is so large. Oh, right. You needed something that goes oh, past your nose so you know where the mic is and you don't. Yeah, like, oh. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, uh, yeah, I have a bad joke that I, I put on Savannah's podcast one time, but I'm not going to say it on here. It's a hey, different man. show. This hey, is man. Different. That, that's coming in, uh, what, 32 minutes. So, oh, dang, that's right. Big right. recap show. So, uh, thanks for rolling with these guys. We're, uh, we're not going to be here too long, but we're going to recap the, the, um, the Hindenburg. Actually, you know what? I take that back. After what happened earlier today, uh, my performance on 24.3 was terrible. However, the Hindenburg moment of the day goes to Taylor Self. <laughs> you know what, man? Like, is, is that is, was is funny? As funny amazing. as that is, as funny as that is, the Hindenburg thing going down slow like that, too. Yeah. Um, and I, and I put it, I put it in our little chat. I, I, um, People forget that now we are so smart as CrossFit athletes about how to pace. Right. But going to that place is what we did before there was a CrossFit Games. We didn't know anything about that. Mm -mm. And that's why it was you have three single workouts a week and then you take a rest day because you'd go to that place that uh, the Taylor went to. Yeah. And it was. It was like one off, but like off. Not not an active right? recovery day. No. Like it done, went, like because oh. you can't, you can't go to that place mm -hmm. to like multiple times in a row. I just and I don't, I don't even think the a lot of the even the high level athletes that we have, they can go to dark places, but they're always in control. That was not in control. And I, is as impressive as Jason Hopper was with all the stuff that he did. Yeah. Like he he just he blew me away. Like MVP for sure, but like th that pushing that Taylor had dude was off the charts. Yeah. Off the charts. So watching that from my perspective was amazing because I get it. That happened in 24.1, but not for that long and yeah. not to that level. Yeah. And, and it's a uh, Jules is uh, in the chat. here is like, I was legit worried about Taylor. I had, Very I nice. had people DMing me on Instagram asking if Taylor was legitimately alive. Yeah. Like alive. Okay. Well, is like, have you heard from Taylor is like, there's people that were messaging me and texting me to see if he was actually okay. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> because, it was, it was weird. Of, uh, I have, I'll, I'll pull up. If you guys missed it earlier today, it was yeah, the uh, conclusion of Taylor versus the world. First, it was led off by um, Fee and Lindsay. Uh, Fee just absolutely just... Uh, great, dude. She looks just, great. She looks great. Uh, and she is great. And I'm really happy. I had, a, 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 on the flip side, I had a lot of people messaging me of how much they just like fell in love with Fee. I was like, I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad more people get to know Fee because yeah. like, JR talked about it on the show. People were messaging. It was like, I, I, have, I have met that Fee in a very small window, but we've had some conversations one-on-one -on -one before. And that's Fee. That's Fee to a T. Yeah, she's yeah. just fun, man. She's it's so fun. Real and authentic. Like everything you guys saw, that's who she is. If someone said that she's like the new version, the new version of Andy Sakamoto, and I can totally Ooh, see that, dude. Wow. Like I can totally see her attitude. She's like, like, in, like, if you go to talk to her, it's like you're instantly you've known her for like 10 years. That's yep. Annie. It was, it's cool. Oh, She's cool. Augustus, did we make that bet? I think we did make that bet. Didn't did we make that a bet on the show? If Augustus holds 30 for every round, I'll give him a wrench. Oh, I mean, this guy's man. been showing up. I feel hey, like I did see this. We were talking about you, Augustus. Like, did you, yeah. did you hold 30 plus? Yeah, on, on every row. Here's the thing. And what did what? you get on the other parts? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good follow up. Here's the thing. He uh he sent me his video and I guess he had done two or maybe three rounds and his phone shut off. What? Yeah. So he had done it already and then his phone shut off. And then okay, two oh eight Augustus. That's wow. And so he had to like do it over again. I guess were you two or three rounds in? I think it was three, three rounds oh in, my God. three rounds wow. in of 30 plus cows per round and his phone shut off. 
And you can imagine it, he reacted about as anybody else would. Uh, at which the effort waited an hour and I did it again. <laughs> Stud. Wow. Um, okay. but yeah. Beast. Beast. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll do that. Dude, you've been, you've been rocking with all the podcast stuff. Bill and I were just talking about that. Yeah. High, high, see. high level mathing with your, uh, CPA ness over yeah. there. Yeah. The battle of CPAs. Let me see. What can I do here? Oh, I guess it's, am I logged in? No. Hmm. I'll figure it out, dude. But yeah, I feel like you've earned it. Oh, here we go. No, God, my there it is. Add standard. All right, you earned it, dude. Boom, you earned it. Uh, speaking of Hindenburg, if you guys missed it earlier today, like we said, is the conclusion of Taylor versus the World. Uh, Fisa Gaffey and Lindsay Stoll. Lindsay, what's Lane. his name? Lindsay Lane. That's right, Lindsay Lane, superhero name. Yep. Uh, Fee. Amazing. I can't wait to see what she does in semifinals. But I heard Lindsay was a little down on herself. And I just want you to know, Lindsay, I heard your name because I know JR. We follow Crash. I don't know who you are. However, what you did and you stepped up to do was straight up gangster. And you should yep. be proud of your effort and what you did. You did awesome. Right. And not a lot of listen, there were three dudes that barely stepped up to go against Taylor and you stepped in and went against fee head to head last minute. So hold your head high, girl. You did great. I hope you all have all the success in the future. So you did. You did awesome. Yeah, I I was kind of I was kind of bummed that that uh, Jr. was saying that, that she was. Yeah, that was sad. feeling embarrassed. And so I'd like I mean, I not not in a bad way. I mean, I get it. No. Nobody Listen, wants yeah, to go into a competition and feel like you are less than or that you're not doing well or whatever. But the thing is, is that like she hung in there on a lot of those events and you can't go, you can't put those two women side by side without having any other athletes in there to show the gradient. It's either going to be, it's like a one, you either win or you lose. Like that's it. Right. And JR was spot on there. There are levels to this game. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it, you know, through all the years that we've done it and, you know, games level athletes, it is a jump between games level athletes and people that are like mid pack uh, for semis yep. mid pack massive difference. It makes those athletes look like they're the, yeah, I've been doing CrossFit in my affiliate now for seven months. I'm kind of decent. It makes right. them look like that. There's that much of a level difference and they're not, they are insane. Like she was amazing. Amazing. Right. Yeah. She was so. awesome. So hold your head up. I can't wait to see what you uh, you do in the future. But uh, if you guys miss the men go, uh, you miss this. And uh, this is why everybody was texting me to see if uh, Taylor was okay. This was his. Does that, but I don't want to play those. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> and just no reaction, dude. None. Dude, got back like up. The, his next burpee, I don't think it shows it, is he, he did the next burpee. And try to get up, and he went to reach for the box as like a natural reaction, and like put his hand down, yeah, and went back into it. But like, man, if y'all have never gone here like once, like you're not, you haven't really experienced full on CrossFit yet, right? No, you just haven't. It, it like that is a. I'm not saying every to every day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I, no, but the thing is, is that we are s most people, and I'm talking a vast majority of people. They talk about pushing hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to give 100%. You have no idea what 100% is. Most people, when they are like, when I'm dying, you're like at 72%. Right. You know, that right, when you, you could tell how slow he was going before that. Like, he was deep in it way before that fall. Yeah. And, and he, how, it was crazy. His jump looked better than when he wasn't jumping. Hmm. Like he actually, when he, when he got up and he jumped on, when he got on the box, granted past that one, got on the box was, and when he stepped off, it was straight legged, like yeah. hyper extended, doing everything he can to stay up. Cause he's wobbling all over the place. And the dude didn't stop. Yeah. He just kept going, kept going. So so. Was, that was inspiring. It was amazing. Yeah. It was awesome. It was super awesome. And, uh, with that, we'll probably, we'll show you guys, um, what not awesome looks like when you guys get to uh, look at 24.3. But uh, Bill and I wanted to have a fun game because we have we are T minus 23 minutes from the Taylor versus the world recap show. 
of which I did hear Taylor will be on. So you guys may get to see um, if Taylor is actually alive. And and yes, uh, we we were actually putting this in the uh, the chat. Is that uh, we think we found Taylor's yep. new nickname. Yep. And uh, Taylor the Savage Self, I think, is clearly earned. Not asked for. Nothing no. he wanted. Mm-mm. I think he was the thumb. But yeah, uh, this is way cooler. <laughs> he was the thumb coming in, but he's the savage coming out. We'll say that. We'll say that. Uh, but Bill and I wanted to have some fun. If you guys have ever, have you ever watched the Jimmy Kimmel show, um, I, I haven't. I've just watched this bit on Twitter. But it's called uh, Mean Tweets. Yeah. And uh, Bill and I have been talking about this forever because anytime you put yourself in a public forum, For any reason whatsoever. Everyone has something to say, which is I find hilarious. And if I'm ever, I mean, I've had this on on quite a display at times, but uh, the the DMs and the comments you'll get during a live broadcast are are amazing. (laughs) Some people, most people are actually like very cool, very nice. And then some people are just filled with so much anger. (laughs) And hey, and I was like, you know what would be fun? is uh, every once in a while just read out like really terrible things that people comment on on our uh, our show. So I wanted to start off this with uh, with that and I and I'm gonna try to find um, we had a, we had a couple good ones on the Jeopardy one. I gotta find this one. Uh, let me see. What was that? I remember one of the ones on the Jeopardy was uh, uh, someone's really mad it wasn't Jeopardy. it wasn't listening friendly. It's like, yeah, it's a game oh, show. Oh, uh, yes. Now, they, they came back and was is more tongue-in-cheek, but I that is definitely on the list. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Gosh, where is this? Here at the bottom. But, yeah, we, we figured we'd bring up. Let me see. I can sh- share this tab so you guys can see me scroll. But yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll share with you guys the joy that is, uh, <laughs> that is some people... In the comments, uh, Jane waiting, Chase incorrectly. Oh, yes. Um, yes, I stated double jeopardy, but I was thinking, um, what is this? Final jeopardy? Oh, here. <laughs> uh, can I? Yes. Uh, Dennis Cook, ECSC. This isn't listen only friendly. If you don't finish the questions, Tried listening on a run. Bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. We didn't cater it just to you and your run. I was Sorry. like, you know how much work in hours went into making these graphics? I'm sorry. This wasn't actually meant to be listener friendly. This is literally designed that you would come and watch it on right. YouTube. <laughs> right. Uh, but then there's one below uh, below it, which is fantastic. This one comes up sometimes. Is, oh, that um, one, oh, yeah, that one. The always. R word, even when used in slang and not meant to be offensive, is hurtful because it is often associated with people who have disabilities. Try and do better. I hear it a lot of CrossFit <laughs> podcast YouTube. <laughs> I love this line when people say this, try and do better. It's like my favorite line. Do better. You. John is annoying and whiny. (laughs) (laughs) That's not even a mean tweet. That's just true. I'm sorry. Sorry, John. (laughs) Oh, what are some of these other ones? Um, Yeah, I got to find it. There's a different one. There was one recently that was just totally trashing on, um, on myself, which I just reply like, this is hilarious. Let's see. Where are you? Comments. Um, I, I love it when it's always like oh. a, a, yeah. a butt. All right, this is great. There's always like a nice thing, and I'm just like, okay, where's the butt? Read Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Uh, dear Alan Doyle, <laughs> really enjoy watching you put yourself out there with these videos. I'm just assuming this is their tone. <laughs> The lack of adherence to the standards and or slash judging on this one is poor. Chase is usually the one, the first one to crucify other athletes for missing standards and calling reps after no reps is not counting. I think you mistake me from Andrew Hiller. Yeah, I know. Do you know who you're talking to right now? That's Batman, bro. None of the second set of wall balls count as if you never finished your first set of 50 burpee box jump overs. You mentioned your wall ball no reps, but your judge still counts them. No, she didn't. 
I honestly expected more from you, Chase. I guess showing the capacity is good enough for you too. <laughs> awesome. I, everyone, everyone is so oh. they love to come out and try to call people out. And I, every single person that does that, I just want. I mean, so look, great. what a lot of people don't get is when you're trying to push with something. Like you, you will ride the line of breaking down on form or range of motion or whatever. Like it just happens, you know, it, it happens. There's oh. a difference between like, I am yeah, Jules, obviously trying fault. to cheat or whatever. Um, but no, I would we, love to watch those people do their, <laughs> get them Jules. Yeah. I'd love I to watch those people. Away do my no reps, by the way, I took, I took them off my score <sighs> on my own. People are awesome. You guys are great, but thanks for that advice, man. I love, awesome. I love that they put that in there. Oh, shit. We better start. We're like 17 minutes away. Ah. Because uh, we better start 24.3 because I got cap. It's exactly 15 minutes. It's a 15-minute cap. So let's uh, – <laughs> but yes. So any of you guys think you just like comment and just hurt my feelings? I'm like, good luck. You guys like, can't hurt our feelings. I grew up in the freaking 80s. <laughs> right. Come on. Uh, okay. Do so better. 24.3. Here's the history. Uh, I've said this a lot, but it's been 20 months since I've done a rope climb – and I've never tried a wall-facing handstand push-up before. <laughs> and I've done about maybe 50 total in the last almost two years of handstand push-ups. So uh, this is a lesson in, I guess, let me just start it here. Yeah, play it. Yeah, let me, let me play it. Let me move this out of, out of the way. We don't need the music. Uh, so going into this, I knew, I think I was doing this at like 6 in the morning. Uh, this is my first kipping handstand push-up. I've just been doing, I've been trying strict, but I think I've done a hundred total strict handstand push-ups since I got cleared from shoulder surgery, which was January. Mm. So I was like, how bad could it be? Well, guess what, guys? Me and Bill have been around the block a while, <laughs> and there's this wonderful phrase in the level one called, uh, we failed the margins of our experience. <laughs> and what that means in a nutshell is that if you don't do the thing, you're not going to get good at the thing. And if you stop doing the thing, you're going to stop being good at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't done handstand push-ups since uh, uh, we're, we're getting close to two years. I, I injured myself in 2022. I had shoulder surgery in the beginning of 2023. And so it's, it's been a hot minute. I was never good at strict handstand push-ups yeah. to begin with. You know, 6'2", 215 isn't quite ideal for that positioning, let alone not doing them for almost two years. So I just was like, hey, we'll see what happens. My goal, my goal was to get to the ring muscle-ups. That was my end goal. I just wanted one because I'd, I've just done ring muscle-ups for the first time in the last three weeks. It'd be cool to get back, but I'm taking my sweet time. But in my head, I was like, okay, if I can do the first round in about five to six minutes, and then the next round in five to six minutes, there well, you that's about that's 12 time. minutes. Mm -hmm. I think I could do 10 wall-facing handstand push-ups in less than three minutes. And then one ring muscle-up. So that was the goal. So my, I was like, all right. I didn't really know how the kipping handstand push-ups would go, but I did 10s, which in retrospect... Which you say, guys will see in a second. <laughs> it was maybe not the right game plan. <laughs> and I was going to do fives on toes to bar. But what was annoying is like, I just couldn't get a good grip on the bar today. For, uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I switched places. Like, yeah, I was like, can you? Yeah, I switched bars. I just, I wasn't, it just didn't feel good. Um, this didn't feel much better. I think in the third round... Is the bar itself, or what, what do you mean didn't feel good? Uh, I don't know. Everything just felt a little off on toes to bar. Hmm. Uh, but the third round, I made the grave mistake of chalking my grips, thinking that would help, and it made it so much worse. Uh, huh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're two rounds in. This is 24.3, and... Um, the goal was, I, once I got to the first round, I was like, okay, I can do 10s on handstand push-ups. Those felt okay. They actually felt fine, honestly. Yeah, I was going to say, did the, the breaks on the toes bar, was that enough time for your for recovery for the push-ups, the handstand push-ups? It was. I never, like, I legit, and this is the crazy thing when you, have, when you do this workout is, well, uh, let me phrase that. When you do this workout like I did, I never was tired <laughs> because I... 
<laughs> I was taking so many breaks. Uh, the rope will come when the rope's needed, Emily. Em- Emmeline? Emmeline Voorhees? Emmeline. Voorhees. Like Jason Voorhees? So, all right, this is my third round. Uh, this is also, like, this tape standard is relatively new because I wasn't... Oh, that's right. You didn't do it last I time. I didn't do it last year. That's right. So a lot of my problems you'll see later is that I was kicking up into a handstand. And when I'm kipping, I don't really care if my hands are a little too narrow or off a little bit right, as long right. as they're on the tape because kipping gets me through it. On strict, I would do one where, like, my finger would be on the line and then I would have to, like, move my hand on it and I'm just like sitting upside down for too long and so that was really annoying. <laughs> All right, so I chalk my grips. Did you see that? I did see that. Chalk my grips. I do the first round. I'm like, these are slipping now. <laughs> I can see yeah, I can see you hiking up on the up on the grip on it. Yeah, right, right how I went high? Yeah. So here's the the best part is that I know these grips are made specifically to not chalk. Not to chalk. And I was like, well, what do they know? They only made the grips. <laughs> I'll put some chalk on it. And if, can you see, like, my elbows start to buckle a little bit? Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's a telltale sign that you're losing your grip. And I was like, no, nah, it'll be fine. You know, shake my arms out. And I think I do one more set. And then I had ha- I, my – you can see where my, my patience goes out the window <laughs> with how my grips were operating. And I, I usually don't wear grips until I do uh, – like either a benchmark workout or or an online thing. Oh wow! Yeah, man, that's that is the one. That's the that only real bad. piece of equipment oh, that I that I really have anymore. <clears throat> yes, that I same. use. Yeah, I um, just I just don't want I, I unless I I'm doing lunges. I'm not gonna wear knee sleeves. Uh, oh I, yeah, I, I took the grips off for the last five. <laughs> yeah, like, screw these things. Screw these things. <laughs> So the next round is so I'm done. Okay, so five twenty eight. So I'm in. I'm I'm where I wanted to be. I would do there and there. My plan. All right. I'm good. Look was at you. to do twenties. I make sure I kept myself in frame. You can tell that I'm really focused on speed right now. <laughs> um, the camera. It's important that you got the. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look, there's so much camera work right now that you're there, concerned with. <laughs> there's just a whole thing of chest. That's lettuce, for right? all you guys at home right now, so you guys can all see what's happening. <laughs> there you go. You can you can see the intensity which I'm working at, and then you see my hand shifting. Yep. I sit upside down for five seconds before I even start. So I was like, "All right, I can do sets of two. I'll do five sets of two, rest five to seven seconds, and so I go up for my second set of two. Oh, that was an uh-oh right there. I saw your think. Yep. Re, uh, the, the pause was, should I come down? Yeah. <laughs> yep, totally. I did not come down. And the answer to the question that really should have been <laughs> is being decided in the squatting <laughs> to take a break after four handstand push-ups immediately into one struggle yeah. by handstand <laughs> Okay. Oh, dude, you looked up and you saw you're like, oh, okay, we're in that place right now. Wait, Look at you. Me, I'm like, hey. <laughs> well, here we are, everybody. Here we are. See, yep, yep. This is where we're at. Just gotta get one at Oh, man. Peter, if your general concern is if I walk behind a column and I'm out of frame, <laughs> it's like you got bigger problems to worry about than what my <laughs> performance going behind here's what happened i went behind the wall oh. cut the camera a new person came out oh yeah did you see me come down yeah. yeah yeah that was great just killing it so i kicked up i was so Woo! far off the line that i'm like okay maybe i should just stay on the ground and just put my hands <laughs> in place but i don't like that do you do you put your hands first no you no way i gotta kick up i yeah. kick up because if if i if i put my hands down and then i kick up i don't get enough shoulder engagement yeah. It's like doing a, a push press before an overhead squat than a jerk. Yeah, I want my arms locked out and set before I weight them. And I can't, I can't get that if I put my hands on the ground. Yep. Invalidated. Someone tell CrossFit HQ. I'm invalidated. I'm joking. I'm literally What's crazy is that you have, to, you have time right now. I'm like, not tired. I just can't do it anymore. Well, and this is the whole thing about uh, the, and the, you know, the beauty of this particular event is it's all gymnastics. Yeah. Gymnastics is not necessarily 
I mean, it can be, but not usually is it going to be like a cardiorespiratory thing. So it's not that your lungs are burning. It's no. not that you're so out of breath. It's like the rep is just I not mean, happening. Not at, not at my speed. Well, at, at at, the other guys we're not speed. talking the top guys. We're talking right, Now, Bill, many. check the time. It's 828. Those 10 handstand push-ups took me three, three minutes. minutes to do. <laughs> Oh, uh, first rope climb in two years. Oh, dang. Okay. Yep. Now, here's where I was starting to get annoyed just with life is watch what happens. I do a full 360 yeah. on the rope. You jump kind of far away from the rope. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, like, watch how much swing, you swing. But why does it make me turn? I think it's just it's a newer rope. Watch how you swing. You jump in and it, look how far you're swinging. So you yeah. have that pendulum right away, and that starts to spin you as you're as you're moving up the rope. Yeah, I was getting so annoyed. I was doing three pulls, but I just wanted to have like us like the fee thing, where I was like just quick feet. Yeah, lessen on my grip, because I could do two pulls, but then I'm like hanging and I'm pulling and I'm tucking my knees to my chest. <sighs> yes, Kenneth, we I I live in the Republic of Texas. So there's a Texas flag on the wall at the same height as an American flag because we're the only state in the country that can do that. What is that, four? Yeah. Dude, I wanted to be done in five to six minutes. The first round of this took me five minutes to do. Crazy. <laughs> or I guess, hey, what do you yeah, think five about, minutes. What do you think about the, uh, the rep set uh, relative, like, comparative so we have all the handstand stuff yeah but the other movements like the 20 toes to bar the you know the sets of five uh, mm -hmm. rope climbs do you think that is the right amount more or less the five rope yeah i mean do you think like that's meant to be like okay there are going to be some people in this 25 that aren't going to get to the ring muscle ups or do we want to make it to where they're really going to struggle to get to the like you're going to have to be able to handle that stuff to be able to even get to the ring muscle ups I think what they made is like every section had its own um, workout within the workout. <laughs> percentage yeah. of people, percentage people. Right, percentage people. So like we said when we were looking at these right off the bat was, hey, three rounds of 10 kipping handstand push-ups and 20 toes of bar as fast as you can is actually a great flash burn style yeah. workout. So if that's yeah. all you get, then that's, that's okay if you don't have strict handstand push-ups. And then two rounds of 10 strict handstand pushups and five rope climbs. Like that's a, if you go, if you have the ability to go all out, like that's a, just a gnarly thing at the end. So yeah. I actually, well, here's the thing. I didn't get to the last part, so I have no context. To <laughs> <laughs> but dang, dude, yeah, that was no. a slow rep right that there. Wow. That was rough. I don't even know what number I'm on. But let me see if uh, Richard, who's there came in early and let us work out this morning. I think he tells me where I'm at and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to get close to what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted one muscle up and I'm he over here struggle busting 10 regular strict handstand pushups. That's the C bill. Do you see me that's moving important. that? That's, that's what the problem was. That's important. Right? Logistics, bro. Logistics. So my OCD kicked in right in the middle of the workout because the <laughs> mat, the line was just an inch to the left. <laughs> And so my heel would be like kind of because that that column is maybe 36 inches wide. And so the line is 30. And with like, my hands, I like that they put the plexiglass over it. It's actually really cool use yeah, of the space. Looks awesome. They did a really good, good job here. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two more. What did you say, Jules? Did you say two more? Like, all right. <laughs> that that one muscle up turned into one wall facing handstand push up real quick <laughs> of a goal. Okay, yeah, I have one. Okay, this is my last one. Come on, tired. baby. Take I'm, a knee. I just, I just got nothing. So in my head, I was like, all right, two minutes. All right, we got to go. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we got to go here. Come on. All right, two minutes. That was actually a good one compared to the other ones. Well, yeah. We got to climb a rope. 
Richard has always been in my corner. I love that guy. Also, if anybody's watching, I, I, I put this in the text group, but I watched the, the most genius way to measure the rope today. What do you mean? Oh, you were talking about that. So they had this 15-foot metal, basically like PVC pipe in their gym. And what they do is they show on the screen as they measure the length of the steel or aluminum pipe it's 15 feet, and then they just show that the end of the pipe touches the top of the rope, and it sits on the ground. And so you've shown that this pipe is 15 long feet trace. long. Yeah. And then you show that the pipe is touching the top of the rope, and it's on the floor. Therefore, you never have to sit and do a ladder thing again because you have a 15-foot measuring stick right there. I'm surprised. How have I not thought of this in 15 years of CrossFit? I'm surprised Rogue hasn't come out with a uh, dear the rope Katie. measure. The rope measure. It's it's a it's a retractable piece, so you can't take it apart. Ooh, yeah. And it's our it's it's CrossFit branded. Da, 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 da. Open it up, measure it, bring it down. Okay, this is it. So I I yell I yell something in the middle of this last rep. I'm like, all right, you've got one. Twenty seconds. Yes, Lauren, I was an engineer. Hi, Lauren, by the way. So I tried to cartwheel into this in warm up and I just about killed myself. So I was like, all right, I'm doing a mini wall walk. <laughs> all right, listen. Ten seconds. Five. I yelled, this is for you, boss. <laughs> and I got one. <laughs> you hear me? I got one, baby. Oh, I got man. One. I got one. Uh, I got to do that one tomorrow. <sighs> Dude, you're going to love it. No, it looks great. I, I th the, the, the design is awesome. I can't yeah. wait to do it. You're going to love it. It can't was super fun. It. it was super fun. Uh, all right, guys, we got one minute left. And listen, I thank you guys for, for rolling with us when we're watching these. Bill, thanks for hopping on. You've had Absolutely. a long day. Uh, the fun. recap of Taylor vs. the World is happening on the Savan podcast right now. And they're going to look at where Taylor is at after submission Window one, that was my 24.3. Learn your lesson for me. Actually work on the skills you need to have to be better during the open and quarterfinals. But that's all I got. So leave your mean comments. We'll read them on the next show, and uh, that'll do it for us. There Billy. better be 170 guys jumping over to the Sevon. That's right.